Hello and welcome back to my channel. Before I begin, I just want to say a huge thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Um, that's surprising to me. I didn't think I would I've have that many followers or subscribers in such a short amount of time. So thank you so much for subscribing. It really means a lot. Um, and without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the, my favorites from 2019, from music, clothes, movies, and yeah. So 2019 was a year of growth for me in the music department. I literally did not listen to music that much. I don't know why. I did, it was just like the, the generic radio stuff, and that's fine, but I definitely experienced and got, I don't know, this was the year of standing for me, so, yes. Alright, so number one on my list is Conan Gray. So, I actually discovered Conan Gray in 2018, like in September, and he's just a really amazing human being, and um, he's very kind, sweet, and I started to watch his YouTube videos prior to listening to his music, and then... I just fell in love with him as a person, and now I just, I love his music so much, so, yes. Number two is Maggie Rogers, who, I discovered Maggie Rogers through Conan Gray's favorites videos that he used to do, and I can't stop listening to her, I think she's amazing, and I love her style, it's very unique to her. Number three is Rule. I think that's how you say his name. He's uh, an Australian singer, and his songs are just very catchy. I'll say that. Number four is Normani. Oh my God, what a debut in 2019! Her motivation music video, oh, amazing. Period. Number five is Declan McKenna, and this isn't doesn't really flow into like the previous artist that I've named. He's more of like a glamour rock. I don't even know how to explain it, but I really just, I love his music a lot, so highly recommend it. Number six is Billie Eilish, and Billie, that's all I can, all I need to say is Billie Eilish, because she's amazing and so talented. And finally, my Probably, I would say, my favorite artist right now is Lord. I'm waiting for her album in 2020, but I really listened to a lot of Lord in 2019, and she's so amazing. I love her so much. All right, moving into the next category, I'm going to go over Netflix shows, movies, entertainment that I really enjoyed in 2019. All right, so I'm going to start with Sex Education. I watched this show... Uh, I think there's two seasons, or maybe just one, but I loved it so much. It's like a British show, and I don't know what it is about me and British shows, but I absolutely love them, so it's really good. The next show is Mindhunters, which is also on Netflix, and it's a little dark, but it's interesting, I'll say that. And then another show on Netflix as well as End of the Effing World, another British show, and it's so good. It's so good. There's only two seasons, and I wish there was going to be a third, but apparently there's not going to be a third. So that's upsetting. And one of my favorite actors is in it, as well as actresses, um, Alex Lothar and Jessica Barden, so, so good. Alright, moving on to movies. Um, I watched Five Feet Apart this year with uh, Cole Sprouse, and it's very similar to like A Fault in Our Stars, like sad, sick uh, teen movie, um, but it's very good, it's very good, it's very sad too, I definitely cried. Next movie is A Star is Born, starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga freaking killed it, and the soundtrack is so good. I listen to the soundtrack probably every day. The next movie is Us. So this was directed by Jordan Peele, 
and it's so good, so good. It, the ending, oh my god. Definitely need to watch that movie, if you haven't already. And the final movie on this list is Collateral Beauty. Now this came out in 2016, it's starring Will Smith, and I remember seeing the trailer about this movie in 2016, and then I just never watched it for some reason, and I watched it actually very recently, like the past week, and I definitely, definitely was crying during this movie, it's so sad, but there's, I want to say beauty and sadness sometimes, and the movie's very good. And I cried a lot during it, so highly recommended. Right, moving on to my fashion favorites and then other like miscellaneous items that I loved in the, um, 2019. Uh, I'm going to start with my Polaroid camera that I got. And I don't use it that often, but I really want to start using it and make memories for this upcoming year. I already have a couple with some really good friends that... I'm no longer, they're no longer in my life right now, but hopefully can reconnect later. Number two is my Air Force Ones. I absolutely love my Air Force Ones. I wear them like every single day that I go out. I become one of those people. I'm proud of it too. Next is earrings. So I recently got my ears pierced in 2019. And I've wanted to do this for so long, but wasn't allowed. My parents definitely did not let, let me get my ears pierced, and they were not happy when I got my ears pierced, but I don't care. Like, I can do what I want on my own person. All right, next is the camera that I'm using to record this video right now, and also my MacBook that I bought this summer, and... That's how I edit my videos, and I really loved that I can connect with my smartphone as well, so, yes. Alright, next is my sketchbook. So, I, was, I really loved art when I was in high school. I would go to the library during lunchtime and my free periods and just kind of like draw random stuff that I thought was interesting. And then I kind of like fell out of, fell out, I fell out of it, like, didn't really draw as much and kind of did nothing <clears throat> but recently I got back into drawing and it's very relaxing and I love it to do it during my I love to draw to like de-stress and like calm down after like a tough day or something the last thing on my favorites list for 2019 is my friends so 2019 I kind of put myself out there on social media maybe sometimes I shouldn't have but I love that I put myself out there because I made some great friends in the process and hopefully some lifelong friends that I get to meet in person in the future and big shout out to Abe because he's my best friend and I love him alright thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and like this video Thank you so much. Bye.